Are you guys wants to know that how you can play the Project Blood Strike without any kind of emulator detection? If you want to know that, then please do subscribe to my channel and watch this full video and share this video with your friends. And for the first time, I'm gonna uh, aim some like for this video. I think you guys can do this. I want 50 likes from this video. Now, watch the full video and do what I'm going to do in this video. So first of all, what should you do? You have to download the Project Blood Strike from apkpure.com. I think you guys already know that how to download apps from apkpure.com. If you, if you don't know, then I'm gonna show you how you can download the uh, Project Blood Strike from apkpure.com. So first of all, you have to uh, open a browser and search Project Blood Strike. And after that, you have to scroll down and you will get the website called apkpure.com with Project Blood Strike. And you have to click on download here. After click on download, you have to scroll down and you will get a download section over here. Just click on download and you'll, it will pop up and add, close it and download started over here. So after download the Project Blood Strike, what should you do? You have to open your game loop. After open the game loop emulator over here, you have to be um, make sure that you have a game installed in your game loop emulator because you need the anti-cheat system enforcement. So for this anti-cheat system enforcement, you need a game like Call of Duty, PUBG or Free Fire. If you install this kind of game, then it will start with a anti-cheat system enforcement. So I already have a game installed in my game loop emulator. The game name is a high energy hero so i'm gonna start uh, this game this game will be start with an anti-cheat system enforcement here you can see so after open this game what should you do just watch me carefully and i'm not gonna um, skip any kind of part from here because the, this this game installation process is a little bit complicated so uh, watch me carefully and do what i'm going to do in this video so here you can see that that game uh, the high energy hero is started over here so now what should you do you have to click on the backspace two three times after I click on the back backspace, you will get this window over here. After get this window, what should you do? You have to click on, if you have to press on F9 in your keyboard. Okay, F9. After click on F9, you will get the browsers uh, over here. And after that, you have to uh, open the browser and you have to search the ES File Explorer. So after search the ES File Explorer, uh, you can uh, download it from apkpure.com. So I already show how you can download from apkpure.com. So after download the ES File Explorer, you have to be install the ES File Explorer in your game emulator. So I already have installed it. So after that, what should you do? You have to find that Project Blood Strike APK in your computer, which one you download from your browser, from your PC browser. So after download that, uh, sorry, after find that um, Project Blood Strike, uh, here you can see uh, where is my, uh, th this one is my uh, Project Blood Strike over here. So you have to copy this one. After copy this one, so after that, you have to find the drive, which drive you use um, to install this game loop emulator. You have to find the drive. So I'm, I am I install my uh, game loop emulator in my G drive. So I'm going to open my G drive. So after open the D drive, you will find a folder called temp folder. Okay, you have to open the temp folder and you have to open the TX game download and the mobile game PC shared. Okay, after that you have to paste that um, APK inside of this folder. Okay, uh, the mobile game PC shared folder. So after that, just close it. So after that you have to open the ES file explorer. So here you can see this one is the actually ES file explorer. So you have to go inside the internal storage. Now what should you do? You have to uh, click on the slash button. Here you can see it's a small slash button over here. After that, click on slash. Now you will get a folder called data folder. Open the data folder. You have to scroll down now. Share one folder, you have to open it. Now you will get the project blood strike over here. So this one is the project blood strike. Now you have to install this one. So now it will take a little time. Uh, for installation process, you have to click on install over here. It's installing. So installation process completed. Now you have to click on done. And after click on done, you have to click on backspace two, three times. And you will get the project blast strike over here. So now the part is so much complicated. If you wants to, if you wants to play this Project Blood Strike right now, then you have to be open the Project Blood Strike uh, unlimited time right now. So here you can see, watch my full video. So don't skip this video. So what should you do? You have to open the Project Blood Strike and you have to wait for the game crash. Okay. So here you can see the game will be started. 
so the game crashed so now we have to be open again so after that the game crash again you have to open again you have to open the game unlimited time it will be crash too many time um because of this game is not going to be connect um easily to the server actually so you have to open again the project blood strike here you can see it's opening it's a zero percent hundred percent and connecting to server and it will take little time so this time it will take taking some time from you so it's taking uh, some download and additional download actually so it will take like 11 mb download but uh, it's not going to be take it uh, like within one chance it will be crash after 11.2 uh, mb if it's not crashed then you have to be go back and you have to start the game again so here you can see it's crashed so you have to open again So now it's 9.9 .9 MB. Here you can see this one, 9.9 .9 MB. So it will take again download, and after that it will, it will it will be crash again. After that it will be crash again. I think so. If it's not, then you have to go back and start again the game. It's not crashing so we have to be go backspace here you can see the back two three time and you have to start the game again Now it's 8.7 MB. You have to wait and you have to do this process until the 8.7 MB completed. Like it's, uh, it would be like 0 MB. Okay, it would be like 0 MB. If, if it's uh, 0 MB, then yeah, the game will be start automatically. Okay, so. And another complicated process is you have to set up the key mapping. So if you want, if you watch the full video, then uh, I'm gonna show you the key mapping too. So the game started now. Now you have to be logging with uh, whatever you want, Facebook, uh, Google, or guest, which which one you wants to go going to be used. So I'm gonna use the uh, my google account because i already played too many game with that account actually so it's login in the game started so this is the way to uh, complete this process i think you guys understand everything and uh, here you can see the game started and uh, now i'm going to show you the key mapping actually the key mapping is a little bit complicated uh, things you have to be do uh, in the key mapping section so uh, for key mapping i'm going to go inside the practice practice range and i'm going to show you how we can do this 
so for key mapping you have to download a so additional software called um, x mouse okay after download the x mouse how you can download the x mouse you guys already know that i think so just open your browser search in google and you will get the x mouse software x mouse.exe just download it and install and after install you don't need to be actually installed the uh, uh, x mouse just open that x mouse and after open the x mouse you will get this kind of interface this kind of interface over here in x mouse section so after that just you have to uh, do uh, what i'm going to do now you have to be click on the add button here you can see this one is the add button over here just click on add after click on add you will get the game if your game loop open then you will get the game loop android uh, android emulator.exe over here okay just you have to click on okay after that you will get game loop 64 bit over here after that you have to add a button called right button okay you have to add the right button in game loop emulator so i'm going to add my right button here you can see this is the right button over here just click on the right button and simulated key you have to open the simulated key section and i'm going to which one you want to uh, which button you want to use just use that one so i'm going to use t so uh, capital t over here just okay apply okay after that t already add if i click on the uh, right click in my mouse then t is uh, clicking here you see the t is working yeah if i click my right click then t is working okay so now you have to open the key map in your um, game loop emulator after open the key map here you can see the uh, what should you do you have to um, you, you you will you don't get any kind of key over here so you have to be uh, put an additional key and you have to put t because the right click is not working if you install this game okay so just use the t button over here and you have to open your in game settings and after that you have to put the a right fire mode is hip fire okay and uh, left fire mode and open just you have to do uh, you have to do this kind of settings in your uh, game in basic advance okay and simple nothing to do just you have to open the advance and you have to do the hip fire mode on and hip fire tap and the, don't use the hold mode hold mode is not going to be work if you use the uh, uh, what it call it's uh, x mouse okay so use tap over here okay go back and here you can see the right click is working here so this is the way to fix the right click and this is the way to uh, set up the key mapping here you can see my uh, key map over here and uh, one more thing i'm going to tell you the sprint for sprint you have to open the key map uh, sorry you have to open the in-game settings and uh, controls and uh, custom controls and make it small and sprint button over here and the uh, auto sprint over here okay just um, make it like a little bit small over here after that save close and uh, you have to put the what it call this uh, sdw button a little bit high on up here you can see i'm gonna show you the in custom and uh, key map and put it over here like this okay put it over here and save it and uh, close and go back and here you can see it's running character running and right click is working so this is uh, only the this is the only problem uh, for uh, key map actually for this game and the one more thing i'm going to tell you the here you can see the uh here you can see the uh, what it call it's uh, aim assist is working here in this game actually you can use the aim assist uh, okay uh, where is the aim assist actually in basic yeah here you can see the aim assist working if you want you can use non none if you want you can use none expert or beginner whatever you want i'm gonna use beginner because beca beginner will get <laughs> more aim assist so this is the way to um, play this game i think you guys understand everything and here is no emulator detection no suspension everything is working perfect and uh, i'm playing uh, from uh, two three days and there is no problem and i'm using my main account so if you want you can use your main account and um, this this one is a limited um, release the game is li limited release right now so they're going to be um recently they're going to be um release in globally so i think so you guys can play this game uh, in global i think so after some days so if you want to uh, enjoy this game if you want to uh, try this game right now without any kind of emulator direction you can try this so that's all stay safe bye bye take care and complete 50 likes right now